Hello, in this tutorial, we will create a crack material using material and texture. First, import the texture and create a material. The texture used in this tutorial can be downloaded from our Discord. You can also import a different caustic texture if you prefer. Next, set the material's blend mode to translucent. Then, create a texture sample node. Set the imported texture to the created node. To make the texture radial, create a vector to radial value node and connect it to the UV pin of the texture sample node. Next, we will change the texture's UV. Create a multiply node. Then, create an append vector node to create UV coordinates and create two constant nodes to set the values of the coordinates. Create a constant node by pressing the one key and clicking. Connect the nodes as shown in the video to set the texture coordinates and change the UV. Next, create another texture sample node to add noise to the crack texture. Set water normal texture and start content to the texture sample node. Next, create a text chord node to slightly change the UV of the water normal texture. Then, use a multiply node to adjust the intensity of the water normal texture. Add noise to the crack texture. Next, create two radial gradient exponential nodes and two constant nodes to create two radial gradient circles. Set one constant node to a value of around 0.45 and the other to a smaller number. Next, create a subtract node and connect the two radial gradient nodes to the subtract node to create a donut-shaped gradient. Use a power node to adjust the contrast of the crack texture. Combine the donut-shaped gradient with the crack texture using a multiply node to create a natural-looking crack shape. Next, create two multiply nodes and a constant 3 vector node by pressing the 3 key and clicking. Set the color of the crack texture using the constant 3 vector node. Next, create a parameter node by pressing the S key and clicking to adjust the color intensity of the crack. Set the parameter value and connect the nodes as shown in the video. Next, create a 1 minus node and connect it to the power node as shown in the video to invert the color of the crack texture. Use multiply and parameter nodes to allow adjusting the brightness of the inverted crack texture. Next, connect the inverted crack texture to the crack texture using a subtract node to make the crack scattered and shiny. Create two multiply nodes and a parameter node to set the opacity. Next, set a value in the parameter node to determine the opacity value and connect the nodes as shown in the video. Now you can see that the areas with a mist of color applied in the crack material are brightly illuminated, while the areas without it appear black. Next, create a material instance. Place a plane mesh in the level from the place actor and adjust the mesh's position and size in the detail window. Finally, apply the material instance to the plane mesh placed in the level. Open the material instance and adjust the parameters to complete the crack material. Thank you.